Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Melinda and we're just doing a little check-in. Hello everyone. It's been a while since I got to see you face to face and uh, I haven't done a weekly vlog in a while so I just wanted to check in and let you know what is going on on our home front as well as I would like to hear what has been going on with you all. So with everything that is going on we are trying to self-isolate as much as we possibly can. What that means in our household is I as you know, work for a city entity and I am an essential person. I have an essential job. So I am still working and I go to work every day. The traffic has been amazing, but I still have to go to work and do all of my regular duties. It has been long and tiring, that is for sure. My husband is a teacher, but he teaches for a private school, um, one that does not have a union. They are currently working from home using a couple different tools, including Google Classroom, and trying to get the students assignments and engage and still teach that way. I don't know how long that will last for, but Hopefully it continues because if they don't teach, then they do not have a job. They are not union based. They are not a public school. And then of course the children do not have school right now. And luckily my husband is teaching from home. We, um, you know, trying to keep a regular regimented schedule with them. It's hard with me being out and then my husband still having to teach, but we are trying to keep their studies up as engaging as we possibly can to make sure that, because I don't see us going back to school, that my oldest will still be able to maintain going into the next level and not being behind. And um, I know what you're all thinking right now because you know he's ahead, <laughs> but I want to make sure he stays ahead. So we're trying to make sure he stays ahead by using a combination of workbooks that we've already had, our flashcards that we already had. We're continuing to do that. Uh, we canceled, of course, um, before this all um, came down as a lockdown because I am in California. We have been on lockdown for a while. Um, before the official lockdown, we stopped going to dance and karate, and we do not have the tutor coming over, though the tutor has offered to do internet-based, I think like Zoom, where you can do a live um, tutoring. We have chosen not to do that at this time. I said, no, just go isolate yourself and we will pick up the slack because now that we don't have all these other activities going on, when I get home in the evening, I try to sit down and do some of educational stuff with them. As well as they get fun too, don't worry. And um, yeah, I think that's all that's been going on. We stay at home during the weekend and we bake. I try to do some type of food or baking activity on the weekend with the kids, whether it's baking cookies or muffins or teaching them how to make homemade bread, all the things and the essentials that we sh I want to teach them. I think you all know that I grew up in Idaho. I, because when I go home to Idaho, right, for the summers, when you see those videos, you know I'm from Idaho. And I was raised making everything from scratch. And then during the summer, we had a garden or we would go to orchards and stuff and get fruits and vegetables. And then we would spend quite a few moments of time to uh, can 
the produce and veg fruits and produce and vegetables. <laughs> nice, Melinda. All right, and then we would stockpile this for winters and I grew up that way and I'm used to that. Living in California, we do not do that currently. And um, though I do have some canned goods from my family, we aren't in a dire need, which thankfully we have always had a good pantry as you've seen in my grocery hauls and stuff of the rotating food and um, keeping on hand what we need and having items. With that being said, I eventually, like everybody else, will need to go to the grocery store, which it seems overall pretty much fine other than the paper products that for some reason, I have no idea why, we have as a community are out of. Our household is not currently out of it. We have had um, that in rotation as well for a while. But eventually, I don't know how long this is gonna continue. I am not a doctor. I cannot foresee anything other than watching other countries and what they're going through. This lockdown is going to be for a while. So hopefully some of you are emergency prepared and have um, your pantry and rotating it. But other than that, we are on isolation like anyone else. I am the only one who is leaving the home to continue to work. And um, I am in a position where that will always be the thing. I will never be on an isolation. That's just not my type of job. But for those who can, it's fantastic and it's great. And I love seeing the community come together and isolating and doing what this country needs. It's fantastic to see the support and the community just helping one another. It's fantastic. I'm on my local Facebook page for my town and it's fantastic to see the people who are reaching out to those who are high risk and saying, hey, I'll go grocery shopping for you and leave it on your porch. Do you need anything? People are reaching out and saying, hey, I can't find whatever. Obviously nobody can find toilet paper and stuff, but like certain things that they might need that um, is in the stores. So people are saying, oh, I found it at this location or I'm at this location now. I'll just pick one up for you and I'll leave it on the porch. It's been really fantastic to see the camaraderie and our country coming together and um, supporting each other. But other than that, I hope you are all doing well. I hope everything is okay with you and your family. These are going to be hard times. I know we're going to have to, as our family, our personal family, family, our little family is going to have to um, downsize and stop doing some of the things that we are. For example, the luxuries. I, uh, I'm gonna have to probably, have to probably cancel my subscriptions to um, like Simply Gilded. That's a luxury and we might not be able to do that right now at this time, especially if my husband gets laid off. I, and like Scribble Prince Co, I have that subscription. My Erin Condren sticker subscription, I paid a year in advance. So like I might not be able to renew that. And there's certain things that we are just gonna have to tighten our belts and not eating out. I know, I'm sorry, I do not want the restaurants to go under. But if my husband is laid off, we have a single income and um yeah we we'll just have to tighten our belts for however long it takes hopefully for us to get back and up and running we have a uh, vacation plans as you know in um the summer to go home to idaho which might not happen and um especially with my dad he's 72 and has dementia and i just would hate to be the one to bring that into the household 
And then, um, and my stepmom, I mean, she's older too. And my mom, I would hate to bring it into her as well because she's 72 and then has um, cancer. And then my poor stepdad has heart issues, right? When we get older. So that trip might not happen at all. And then in the fall, we have a cruise planned, but we really don't know where we're going to be, right? The cruise ships are canceling left and right, and they should be, right? To keep everyone pretty fit and safe. And they keep extending the cancellation out. And how long are they gonna keep extending that? That trip I'm going with my sister and my sons. So, you know, my sister and I are in contact regarding that. It's already paid in full. We have everything. And as long as society opens up during the summer, then we will still go. If it is still shut down, we've discussed um, pushing it if the cruise lines are still not up and running. But I think that's it. I think that's all that's going on in our little household trying to isolate as much as possible. I do a wash down when I come home to try to protect my family. And hopefully you all are taking the precautions you need. I hope everything is okay. I hope everyone's healthy, like I said before. I hope that financially everyone is okay. We're in this, right? We are definitely in this and I, was trying to keep the videos at a regular um, scheduled and to keep our minds off of it and keep going. You know, like Mondays will still be planned with me. Uh, I still have a few subscriptions that are yearly subscriptions that will be on Wednesdays. And then on Fridays, sometimes the weekly vlogs now we other than me coming to work and going home, there's not really much. I want to check in with you though, because I want to see what's going on and I want you to know what's going on in our lives. And then I do need to do a, um, like what I'm eating so you can kind of see the Optavia type food. I do want to do a taste test. Somebody recommended that to do a taste testing of different of the Optavia foods. So look forward to that. Mm, I think that's everything. All right, let me know if you have any questions down below. Let me know what's going on with you. How are you doing? Please let me know down in the comments below. I truly view you as my friends and family. I appreciate your support and I'm here to support you. And if you're new, think about joining our family, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, bye everyone.